If you have pain or swelling in your knee, then a knee compression sleeve may be the best option for you. And in this video, I wanna teach you a little bit about when and when not to use your knee compression sleeve. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey, it's Coach Todd here with feelgoodlife.com where we teach people over 50 how to get healthy, pain-free joints. And if you enjoy learning about either tools for your joints to help make sure they're healthy or exercises or stretches for your joints, then go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button where we release new videos for people over 50 to get healthy, pain-free joints. So let's go ahead and get started on the tutorial for knee compression sleeves. If you have bone on bone knee pain, cartilage deterioration, um, injuries like meniscus tears, they could have happened recently or a long time ago, a knee compression sleeve can be a great tool. And the reason why is because anytime you get an injury, so let's take an example, your knee. Say you have an injury to your knee or bone on bone, uh, whatever it may be, inflammation, osteoarthritis, your body is sending inflammation and swelling that area. And so what happens is it starts to pinch upon the nerves. So think of like um, a balloon kind of blowing up. It's gonna push against things inside that joint in the nerve. So what a knee compression sleeve does, it's essentially an elastic material that fits around your knee and it fits tightly, not too tight, but it constricts. So it pushes things, essentially the blood flow and the inflammation and the swelling out of the knee to help prevent and to stop the body from pushing against those nerves. And so that's really what a knee compression sleeve does and it's a fantastic tool, it's really a low cost tool. Um, it's not something that you wanna rely upon all the time. And the reason is because it doesn't solve the core problem inside your joint. Right? Maybe it's a strength issue, maybe it's a cartilage deterioration issue. Uh, there could be any number of issues that your body needs to heal from the inside out, uh, not from the outside in. But the tool can be used to help decrease the pain so that you can continue with your exercises or stretches, um, continue with your daily life in independence. So I'm gonna show you a little bit more about the knee sleeve and how to put it on, how to measure it, and um, a little bit more about how to use it. All right, so before choosing a knee sleeve, they often come in small, medium, large, extra large, extra, extra large. Really, it's just the circumference of the, um, of the, the, the sleeve itself. And essentially, they match it according to the size of your leg. So what you wanna do is measure the circumference of your thigh four to five inches above your kneecap. So you can sit on your bed um, or a chair uh, or the couch and take out a tape measure and, and measure the suck circumference of your thigh. And uh, I'm not gonna give all the sizing demonstrations or, or descriptions in this video. Uh, I'll include one in, underneath this video so you can understand which size knee sleeve to buy. But you wanna get that first and then choose the uh, knee sleeve according to the size that you find uh, or the, the number of inches um, uh, in that tape measure. So uh, once you have your knee sleeve, all you need to do is uh, put it on essentially just like a, a sock. And you're gonna put it up so that Usually there's a, if you can see this, there's a circle part and you wanna place that right around the kneecap or patella. Make sure there aren't any wrinkles in it. And you can, it feels like a, like a, like a snug hug, right? So it doesn't feel too tight where I feel like my leg's gonna turn blue <laughs> beneath, beneath it, uh, but it doesn't feel loose. I could walk around with this all day long if I wanted to and this is not gonna fall down. So that's how you know your knee sleeve is the right size. Um, it'll feel really snug, but not too snug. And again, I can already start to feel that compression. And I know when I really struggle with knee, knee pain, this uh, knee, knee sleeves were one of the main tools that I use to help decrease the pain so I could perform exercises uh, really without having that pain and build up the strength, the mobility, and improve knee health inside. And that's really one of a core um, benefit with a knee sleeve is it helps you improve that independence and mobility, but you don't wanna rely upon it all the time. And one of the questions that we get is, can we sleep with a knee sleeve on? And in general, general we recommend no, because while you're sleeping, your blood pressure decreases. And so again, what this is doing is it's constricting. So if you have less blood pressure um, going to your extremities and you're constricting it even further, it could cause 
uh, certainly different problems um, within your body. But if you if you go to your PT or your doctor and they say it's okay for you to sleep with your knee sleeve, uh, go ahead, that's perfectly fine. The other question that we get is, what's the difference between a knee sleeve and a knee brace? So a knee brace is a harder material. So it's gonna create even more support and say you might use it while you're playing basketball or maybe you're going for uh, playing golf or something. Um, and it's gonna just create more stability and support with your knee. Again, that's, that's something you don't wanna rely upon and something that you may wanna reply, reply, rely upon even less and the reason is because the more you rely upon external devices, the less your muscles, ligaments, and tendons are relying upon themselves, right? It's like you don't want to, um, you know, give, give money to your child, like, you know, every day uh, for them not doing anything, right? You want them to learn to earn on their own, um, you know, no free handouts, so to speak. So same thing with your body, right? You're teaching your body to rely upon itself. Again, it's a fantastic tool. Um, but not something that you want to use all day, every day for months and years on end. Um, but the knee, knee sleeve is a great tool to create stability, decrease pain, decrease swelling. And so think of it like you could start with a brace, move up to a knee sleeve, and then eventually move off of your knee sleeve or use it just occasionally. All right, well, hope you enjoyed that video um, on knee compression sleeves. They're fantastic tools uh, for overall knee health. Uh, if you don't have a knee compression sleeve, we have a huge sale going on right now uh, for our own Feel Good Life knee compression sleeves. Uh, they're medical grade, they're high quality knee compression sleeves. You can go ahead and click the link below um, to actually get two of them. We sell both of them because sometimes you may need extra support in both your knees, not just one. And so we sell them two um, to, to a package and uh, you can go ahead and use the sizing guides to find out the right size for you and uh, enjoy um, less swelling inside your knee as you continue to rehab your joints long term. All right, I'm Coach Todd with feelgoodlife.com. I thank you so much for joining me on this uh, uh, video to learn more about knee compression sleeves. And uh, if you enjoy, again, learning more about knee health or overall joint health, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, also leave a comment if you've got questions specifically about knee compression sleeves or questions in general about your joint health. Go ahead and leave a comment underneath this video. Look forward to hearing from you and seeing you on your journey towards greater joint health.